Hi, Tom Walls, Carbide Processors. I want to show you one of my favorite ways of inspecting saw blades, particularly top end saw blades. This is a side dial indicator. You press the little knob and it moves. Okay, see how that's working? All right, nothing surprising there. This is a saw blade. All right, each saw tip is larger, wider than the blade. All right, there's side clearance between the tip and the steel. This is a famous blade designed to give smooth cuts for hobbyists. So uh, the arrow points to, oh, well, the arrow points to a tip with cracks in it. Never mind. Anyway, so there's not much side clearance there, but I had it on top of the pile of blades. For, so what you do is you put it here, slide it back and forth to measure the side clearance. I measure the greatest side clearance. This one shows 13 and a half thousandths, all right? The next one shows 14 thousandths. This one is... 14 thousandths. This one is 14 thousandths. This one is 14 thousandths. Okay, so they're all within a fraction of a thousandth the same, which is where they should be. This is a less expensive blade, a task force. I don't know where I got it. It's got little tiny bits of carbide, but that's all right. So let's try let's try this one. This one has got a side clearance of oh I'm gonna call that 17 and a half. And oops, I can't be right. Side clearance of 21, side clearance of 19 and a half, side clearance of 20 side clearance of 20 and a half side clearance of 19 and a half you see where i'm going with that so the other thing on this if you really want to do it there are these slots the expansion slots all right let's see. typically when they put the tips are put on and then it's ground the wheel comes down to grind it okay the wheel pushes on the tip as part of the, the whole grinding thing coming down, it's got to put a little force on it. There is pushback, they call it, which means that the steel, the wheel wants to push the steel, the steel doesn't want to be pushed. The inherent rigidity of the steel may be, if you like that term better, there are, there are a lot of others. Anyway, part of the rigidity of the steel comes from the fact that it's part of a big piece. This tip and this tip are different in that there is this big expansion slot. So this tip, you can, you can feel it when you move it. This tip, these two tips are more flexible. And let's see how this works. All right, we're gonna start two tips back. Let me stand up for you. Start two tips back from the expansion slot, measure it, we get a 19 and a half. Here, we get a 21 and a half. Here, we get a 21 here we're back to a 19 and we're back to a 21 all right this is a much less expensive blade so there is more side clearance variance uh, and what I do is take the measurements put them in Excel and theoretically when you graph it out you should have a nice graph that wiggles half a thousandth or so uh, sometimes you'll see side clearance variance up to a couple of thousands. I have bought custom blades that people said they were experts and that may not have necessarily been true. The grinder got away from them or something, but there'd be as much as five thousandths or so. The teeth should all line up in a straight line. If they're if they're out of if they're out they should line up like that. If they're out of whack, then these that are sticking out the farthest are going to leave marks in your wood, which is one reason you get marks in your wood. So one of my favorite ways of doing it is 
of examining a saw blade to side clearance variance. And my thanks to Cliffy, who taught me about the, um, the, the expansion slot. Instead of grinding down, you grind up and you reverse the direction of the wheel. So instead of pushing the steel over, you pull the steel back. One of the little 10,000 things you have to do to make a really, really good saw blade. So thanks for listening. Bye.